For today's sponsor we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16 and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Hello guys, it's Shit Game Plays. I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So today's video is the review, uh, my experience, the review of my experience with the, <laughs> with the new AMD Adrenaline 21.7.1 drivers. As I say in all my videos, 21 is the year, 2021, 7 is the month, July, and 1 is the first revision in that same month, so the first revision of July. This driver is also optional, and as for the recommended driver, it is still the 21.6.1, which has been recommended since the beginning of June, okay? Now, as for the release notes, and okay, it's optional, so it's kind of a beta driver, so if you have problems, don't come complaining that I have problems and blah, blah, blah. Oh, or yes, maybe you can complain since AMD can see you have problems and maybe fix them. Well, with the 21.7.1, we have support for the new uh, mobile graphics, so the AMD Radeon RX 6700M and 6600M. In the previous drivers, we actually had support for the 6800M. We also have a thing, a support thing for the F1 2021, which has been released uh, some time ago. Up to 6% increase in performance in F1 2021 4K Ultra settings with ray tracing enabled and up to 26% increase in performance at 1080p ultra high settings ray tracing disabled. So we may have 20 up to 26%, which is a lot, 26% improvement with the RX 6800 at uh, 1080p ultra high settings comparing to the 21.6.2. So that's a lot. I don't have the, the F1 2021, otherwise I would be testing it for you guys to see. Uh, and I don't have the XT version of the RX 6800, so yeah. As for the fixed issues, we have some interesting things like, for example, an Oculus service error may be received with the RX 5000 and 6000 series graphics card products, which prevents the Oculus Link setup software from running. So people were having lots of problems with Oculus and some VR headsets while using um, while using recent AMD drivers, okay? So, if problems are still persisting, let me know in the comment section, really. Leave your comment in the comment section and let me know if the problems with the VR headsets are still going on or not. If AMD actually fixed some problems or not, because I really want to know and I'm sure that AMD wants to know as well. Now, lighting corruption may be experienced in Apex Legends when Radiant Boost is enabled, so that is fixed. Some users may experience elevated memory usage by the AMD User Experience program, that is also fixed, nice. A driver mismatch error may appear when two versions of Radiant software, Windows Store and the AMD supported versions, are installed on your system. So, this error is mostly, is mostly directed to the Windows 11 versions, I think, to the Windows Insider versions that add this bug, where Windows would just install the driver even if you had the driver installed. So maybe if you have the 21.6.1 driver in installed and you're using the Windows 11 in older versions of the Windows, of the Windows Insider, um, the Windows 11 would actually install the new driver version leaving the Catalyst version, the Radeon software, in the same version, but the driver in the next one causing problems, okay? So, I think that Windows 11 in the in the previous build, in the latest build I'm in, uh, it, that problem was fixed, um, and now it is fixed also in the Radeon software, which is nice. And well, we have some more fixed issues, uh, and as for the known issues, we have, for example, the Game Compatibility Advisor in Radeon Software Experience may incorrectly advise some users their CPU and or GPU do not meet the minimum requirements to play some games. So this is something that was actually happening, and I saw some people, for example, on Facebook groups um, posting this, saying that, for example, where the Radeon Software actually said that, for example, a Ryzen 9 5900X wasn't fine for games like League of Legends or something, which is completely crazy um, and yeah it was obviously a bug and it seems to be fixed not it is not fixed so it's in the known issues so it's not fixed AMD 
fasten this up, please. We have some more known issues like Resident Evil Village may experience an intermittent application hang or TDR on Raiden 7 graphics products in the first mission of the game. This was a problem that, that was happening in previous versions of the driver, so it is still here, which sucks. But well, let's hope that in the next driver versions it is fixed. Another one, let's fi- yes. And the mighty enhanced sync is still here after more than a year, a year, sorry. Enhanced sync may cause a black screen to occur when enabled in some games and system configurations. Any users who may be experiencing issues with enhanced sync enabled should disable it as a temporary workaround. Still here! We also have an important thing for Athlon users, Athlon mobile users, which is lower than expected performance may be observed on selected AMD Athlon mobile system. So if you actually have an Athlon mobile, just don't use this driver version because it will have problems, okay? And we also have an AMD link for Windows known issues. This time, this is something new. Intermittent gray frame corruption may be observed when streaming with HEVC, HEVC, so basically it's the H265, on certain configurations via an internet connection. A workaround is to use AVC encoding instead of, yeah, instead, just that. AVC encoding settings instead, but basically you are using a, a lower quality codec just to not have these gray thing issues, so yeah. Now guys, that's all for today's video, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget in terms of normal usage, no black screens, no blue screens, everything is working fine and the performance is more or less within the same, so yeah more there, a bit less there, it depends also on the GPU, on the architecture of the GPU, on the games you play, so there are lots of variants, but overall it is more or less the same for almost all GPUs, okay? So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, <laughs> once again. So thanks a lot for watching, don't forget hit like, subscribe and share this video because that's really important, <laughs> and well, Let's go to the performance, the performance part, so side by side comparison tests that you actually want to see. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Sorry by this misspelling thing because I'm a really, I'm a bit sick and my throat a bit dry, so yeah, it is harder to speak this way. Thanks a lot and see you in the next video.